everyone we're looking at the p51k before we get into the nitty-gritty of everything we're gonna go out to this Junkers 88a we're gonna bomb the bridge first then my tag team with this other Mustang pilot and oh boy look at that look at the kills roll across the screen it's about 10 right there plus we took out the Junkers 88 so if you want to accomplish things just like that stay tuned and I will show you how to go about flying this plane so we're at the first sector of twisted steel and we're going to use the fray bombs to go after this jeep right here and when you use the fray bombs you have to fly low with them uh, reason being is they just aren't too effective from high up and you won't really get the reticles until you go low so the most effective way to get monster kills with this plan is to go after the enemy when they're all bunched together like right here And see right there, I first dropped the incendiary bombs first, and then I went with the fray bombs immediately after. Alright, I'm going to go after this uh, AA gun on the right side. Now, if he starts shooting me, I cannot use the frag bombs. So he isn't. I hit him from the blind side, and I managed to get three. But if he was shooting me, there was no way I would use the fray bombs because it would cause me to have an accident. So I'm going to try to help these guys get uh, Objective Able back. I'm going to drop all my bombs right in this Able sector. And just like that, got five. And it didn't seem like there was any flagger fouls, so I'm going to head back and try it again. Alright, going to try it here again. Some stragglers left behind. I just got one, but I'm going to take out this Yunkers. Nice, sweet. So that's not bad. One on the ground and one in the air. Alright, we're still at the first sector. I'm gonna actually try to help these guys at Bravo. I'm gonna try to take out this uh, half track. Now, on a regular tank, this would just scratch the surface, maybe take off two or three. But on half tracks, you can actually burn the guys on the inside. So if you guys remember, at the beginning of the first sector, there's a stick that flew right over me. It's time to take this thing out. This guy's been wreaking some havoc. Alright, took him out. So when you go after um, Stukas or Heavy Bombers, try to uh, use your, your dual cannons. It really helps out. So normally I would try to uh, attack this area at a different angle to get the max amount of kills. I know there's a flight Panzer from that other angle. So, yeah. It's going to head on back. Oh, that's alright. I managed to get three. So it's just something to consider. Alright, so we're at the second sector. I'm going to drop the incendiary bombs first, then the frag bombs. And the reason why I'm doing this barrel roll is because it's trying to avoid a flieger faust, but managed to get four off of that. Alright, so there's a tank up ahead, and I'm going to line up these reticles directly on it. Reason being is. I want to damage that tank as much as I can, and on top of it, get whatever collateral with infantry again. Now that loud bang you heard is actually the frag uh, bombs hitting the side of the tank doing damage. Okay, on this run, they got smart, so they used the AA. Notice I didn't use the frag bombs, just use incinerators. I managed to get five, but the main reason why I just dropped the incinerators is because if I dropped the frag bombs, it would have had accent from the uh, AH at me. Alright, so that other Mustang pilot is heading after this Yunkers with me. Uh, I actually took out that other AA, so we're just going to tag team right on them. And look at that, I mean, just like from that opening clip, um, you know. 
10 kills right there, and we managed to take out the Yonkers. So, gotta love it. Alright, these guys are going hard after Bravo. Gonna drop uh, these balls right here. Alright, cool. Managed to take out four. So, key is line up those reticles like usual. So right now I'm firing, I don't see any Fleeger files or A shooting at me, so I'm going to drop the incineraries, then I'm going to drop the frag bombs. And the reason why I mentioned to not drop the frag bombs after the incineraries are getting shot at is because you'll blow up from an accident. And what I mean by that is, for instance, if you're getting shot at, whether it's, you know, from AA or you know, Flieger Faust, enemy fire, anything like that, if it hits the frag bomb, it will explode. The enemy won't get a credit for actually shooting you down, and it'll just hit you at accident. So I'm sure you've noticed by now that the second sector, um, in particular uh, Alpha at the bridge, is definitely the area that you want to hit the most to rack up the most amount of kills. Uh, mainly because they're all just bunched up in there, like I mentioned before. And look at that, they're still cooking. Yeah, it's still another one's cooking. I mean, incendiaries are great. <laughs> Absolutely great. So they're all bunched up, reticle over reticle. Can drop all my bombs in. And look at that, it's three, four, five. Can head back to the other resupply station, reload again. And it looks like somebody's still cooking. And just like that, look at that, six. Alright, we're all resupplied. Gonna drop it down on A again. And oh man, look at that, I mean, that must have been at least six right there. So, not too shabby. So, even though they're not marked, you should still be able to see them as these little beige or white dots walking around and getting at the bridge. Yep, there they are, and look at that. Seven. So, I'm not nailing anything with the strafing, but I'll make up for it right here. I'll bomb it all right there. Whoa! Some crazy Matrix stuff going on right there. <laughs> Alright. Got three plus squad wipe. Ooh, got another one. Alright, all reloaded. Gonna head right back in there, as usual. Gonna try to strafe for a little bit, see if I can get in. Get somebody, but I don't know if that's from somebody burning, but I'll get some markers. Gonna drop this right on in. Alright, here we go. And oh wow, yeah, if you add up the last one on and this one is about 13 kills. Alright, here's something a little different I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try dropping two incinerators and then I'm gonna dive now really fast and drop the rest of my bombs, the fright bombs. And it actually worked. I actually lived through that and got four. Sweet. Alright, so it looks like we got a pretty decent BF-109 uh, G6 pilot over here. So this might take me a little while to dogfight him. But here we go. And I want to take them out with these uh, 20 millimeter cannons. Um, doesn't seem like the rate of fire is all that great, but man, the knockdown power is really going to make a difference. Like right here. I know I take them really good right there. Didn't quite get them completely. Alright, cool. My wingman got them. And going to head on back over to the bridge. I'm fully loaded. All six bombs. And time to unleash havoc. Here we go. Oh boy, they're cooking. Yep, look at that. What is that, eight? Hell yeah. So I just briefly switched over to my uh, blue nose skin. And so we just lost the sector. 
But hey, hey, I'll take seven any day. With the blue nose or not. Alright, back to my previous skin. Now they have taken the second sector. Uh, this is the beginning of the third. Ooh, that looks really rich right there. Sweet, got seven. So yeah, this is the beginning of the third. So something to consider. Once you lose that second sector, you lose air support. So you got to stay alive in the air. So there's still a bunch over at the bridge uh, previously when they just got A out the second sector. It's going to bomb them. And cool, got four. So I'm going to try to take out this AA gun. Alright, yep, he's shooting at me. So I can only drop the incinerators. Alright, I got two. If I would have released the fray bombs on top of that, it would have said I had an accident. So it's something to remember. So this is a crazy thing to do. I'm going to actually drop these uh, incinerary bombs and the fray bombs right directly on the tiger tank. It ain't going to blow it up. But... You know, sometimes there's an engineer around it, or sometimes it freaks the guys out, they get out, and it kills them. <laughs> so this AA gun is focused on our spawn at the other plane that you see over there. So I'm actually going to hit it from his backside. And cool. Got him and a couple others. Yeah, I didn't blow up the AA gun, but at least I took him out and a couple more. Alright, still live. Um... Looks like they're pushing up from the third sector. They're at Bravo, still pushing up. Alright, took out three. Gonna go back to this resupply and try to take out some more. Alright, there's a the flag panzer. Same concept as earlier with the Tiger tank. Gonna actually try to bomb it, even though it's not gonna take uh, much damage to the flag panzer. But still, the guys freak out over there, or, you know, maybe I get collateral. So they apparently still have a plan up. It's a Stuka. And clearly this guy doesn't have the machine gun upgrade for the uh, passenger position, tail gun position. Because if he did, I'd be absolute toast right now. But he doesn't, and I managed to uh, take out those two, so they're out of air support. Sweet. So I'm taking the long route because there's this new guy on the AA gun. He's actually pretty good. And so I was flying low over there um, just to basically avoid detection. Yeah, this takes a little bit longer, but it should be worth it because I can now um, hit him from behind. Because he's going to be too focused on, you know, the other plane that's up, for instance, and people in front of him. So, here we go. Alright, so it was only two, but hey, it was worth it. Alright, so we're at the uh, fourth and final sector. There's this tank pushing up from that small bridge. Another tank as well. So I'm just going to lay out all the bombs. Alright, and uh, managed to take out four. Alright, we're at the fourth and final sector. I'm going to go ahead and bomb everything right there at Bravo. Alright, here we go. Three. Four and five, sweet. Alright, so we're on Allison Dam on Breakthrough on the second sector. And we're going to go ahead and bomb this area right here. It has an AA gun. And I got three. And I'm only showing you the footage for uh, the second, third, and final sectors. Because the first sector doesn't have air support. Alright, so at Bravo, there's all these guys that are they're usually in that area right there. So just hit circle over circle on the reticles. And manage to get three. So that's a real hot spot over there. So another nice hot spot, if you will, is this area over here where I'm dropping these. And then also right over here on the hill, there's always these snipers or people camp in that area. Alright, cool. Managed to get three. So just try to remember those little areas. Even if it's not uh, lit up, there's usually people there. So heading back over to that hill area that I just mentioned previously. And 
and I'm gonna go ahead and drop everything right on it. And cool. Took out three. So if you're not bombing the hill area, um, you should be bombing the AA area because they usually go back and forth. And so here we go. Yep, another three. So just like that, you know, this map isn't a map where you get a lot of monster kills, but you should be able to pick up a few. Alright, gonna head after this tiger tank. Yeah, I'm not gonna blow it up, but I'm gonna get uh, some collateral kills on it. Sweet, two right there. Ooh, three. Alright, gonna go to this resupply. Gonna try to head back there in just a bit. Oh wow, four total. Hey, I'll take it. Come on, give me something. Give me something. Alright, cool. I saw something flash up. That's all I need. Alright, sweet. Yeah, I figured there would be some people there, but you know, that helps definitely uh, increase my chances of more kills. You know, usually I like to drop all my bombs in one area, but I'm going to drop one there, one right there, and a bunch right here at Bravo. And cool, paid off. Five right there. So the P51K has really nice dive breaks. So I'm just lining up right there, circle over circle with reticles. And got one. Two, should be able to get one more, let's see, three, alright, cool. So you got to be really careful going up against these Junkers 88s. If he's got the machine gun upgrade, uh, passenger machine gun upgrade, I should say, um, if he sprays just a little bit into you, you got to back off and fly away. But it looks like this guy didn't. Alright, so I'm actually being chased by a Junkers 88A. And the nice thing about the P-51K is, even though it doesn't have a supercharger, it just moves really fast to begin with. Um, so this guy could try chasing me all day as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Alright, so that Yonkers 88 gave up on chasing me, so I'm going to bomb this area right here. Alright, cool. Got three. Gonna go resupply. Alright, I'll resupply back up. Gonna hit that uh, area on the bottom of the hill where the are at. Alright, another three. Now on this one, I don't want to take no chances of them hitting my freight bomb, so I'm gonna dive in super fast. Drop it real quick. Cool. Nothing shot at me. And I managed to get three. Okay, all resupplied up again. Gonna actually hit this area. So I think they're gonna get out on the AA again. And wherever the case, managed to get another three. So, you know, a lot of times it's three, but hey, you know, three's better than nothing. Alright, there's a few over this fort area behind Bravo. Cool. Again, another three, but you know what? It's not bad. Alright, I got a feeling it's gonna be really rich up in this area. So I'm just gonna, gonna do like a carpet bomb. Oh man, look at that reticle. Yeah. Well, it looks like there is a mesh treatment 109. Going back and forth. There we go. Yeah, just go back and forth with the uh, dual 20 millimeter cannons and then the uh, light machine guns. Alright, so this is the start of the third sector. Gonna go ahead and strafe in this area. Alright, managed to get one. I'll bomb a few more. Alright, cool. I should get four and a spawn beacon. There's a few over by Alpha. Let's go drop all these in here. All 
Yes, this counts as kill, so a total of four. Alright, so here's an example of what not to do. I should just release the incendiary bombs only, instead of release all of them. And I really took a chance of uh, the AA hitting my freight bomb and blowing me up. Now, it would have said an accident, but still. I right, managed to get four off that, cool. So as a pilot, you want to pay attention to little things like this right here, where a uh, teammate is marked an area. And so that worked out, because that was the exact area I needed to hit. Alright, gonna hit this from a different angle. All bombs dropped. Alright, two ain't bad. Okay, three's even better. Alright, I'm worried about this AA gun that's right over here. Got to play these. Oop! That uh, JB2 took it out, so I'm gonna just uh, go and bomb it all. Uh, cool, got three off it. Yeah, that JB2 really helped. Alright, it looks really rich in here, so should be able to get like four, maybe more. Just gonna bomb them all. Leash everything. Alright, cool. Managed to get four. Alright, I'm a P-51K, so the P stands for Pursue. So I'm going to give a fighter escort to this P-70. But managed to strafe a couple there. People saying I can't strafe, I only bomb. Well, hey, look at that. i got a feeling it's going to be really rich up in here. Going to have a lot of infantry pushing up towards our guys right up in here. Uh, unleash them all. Oh man, six right there. Not too shabby. Oh wow, actually seven. Apparently. Okay, make that eight. Or better yet, make that nine. Wow. Okay, got the Stuka. Gonna try to use the dual 20 millimeter cans first, and then finish them off with the light machine guns. Yep, got two. Cool. All right, so here's a good tip for you guys. Go ahead and actually bomb these two AA guns uh, before the final second even starts, because they're gonna be there anyway. You know, a lot of people have the attitude that if people are in the retreat, there's nobody over there. No, they're over there, trust me. It's always going to pre-fire it. Alright, so here we are at the final sector of Al Sundan on Breakthrough. Try to take out this Yankers 88. And look at that. It's down. You know, the dual 20mm cans really help take it out. Alright, so i got to be really careful over at this AA gun. I'm just going to release two of those in series bombs. Alright, didn't get shot at, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the rest. Alright, cool. So you take a real chance on that because you don't want the AA or anybody shooting at your fray bombs and blowing you up. Alright, I'm all resupplied. It looks really rich up in this area. I'm thinking about just unleashing all my bombs right now. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Let's see how many we get. Alright, three's not bad, you know. I felt like it could have gotten more, but I'll take it. Alright, just like earlier, I'm gonna try to get some collateral kills on this tank. Let's see what we can get. Ah, only two. Alright, gotta get away from this darn AA guy. It's just gonna mow me down. Alright, self repair. Kicked it in. Alright, come on. Alright. I think I'm far enough away. Just gotta get this thing repaired. Oh wow, got a third one too. Alright, I'm gonna take the long route back and I'm gonna flank this AA gun because I can see he's gonna be a problem. Alright, flying low, like as the saying goes, below the radar. And um, 
taken the far back end route. And I don't think he ever saw me. Yep, he didn't see me. I'm going to flank him. Or I am flanking him. Got him. And one more. So sweet. That was totally worth it. Alright, I'm going to bomb these barracks. I'm going to head after this Junkers 88. Alright, cool. Got one. I'm just going to keep switching back and forth. You know, light machine guns. Uh, twin enemy cannons. Oh man, I'm taking a real chance here. Because they got that uh, machine gun upgrade. Oh sweet, the guy tried to bail, shot him, he's like, ah! Alright, I'm all repaired and resupplied. Just shot the uh, tail gunner right through the cockpit, killed him. And sweet, just finished off the uh, pilot of that Stuka. So here we are at the second sector of Panzerstorm Breakthrough. Just like the other map of Al Sundan, um, there's no air support at the first sector, so I'm just showing the second. And so I just basically bomb those trenches right there. And the enemy team doesn't have any air support until it gets to the final sector. Alright, so i got to be really careful over here. There is a uh, AA gun to the left of my reticles. But I'm going to take out the Pack 40 first and then I'm going to bomb that AA. And cool, got the Pack 40 and the AA gun. Uh, four kills on that. Alright, so I'll resupply it, heading back in. Going to hit those trenches real hard again. Now that AA is going to see me here in a bit, I'm sure of it. But I should be able to outrun it. That looks like... Okay, cool. Three kills. Alright, so just like before, going to hit these trenches first. And when you see that heavy netting, that's actually where pack 40s are at. So you actually want to hit both. Alright, cool. Getting some right there. There's that AA gun, so... You know, got to try to outrun that. Yep, we got it. Cool. Alright, so when you hear something like, you know, the enemy has taken Objective Baker at the second sector right here. Most likely, they're in this little tin shed area right behind the flag. And, yep, just like that, took out five. So even though they just took it earlier, I got a feeling there's going to be some stragglers along. I do see that uh, one of them is lit up right there. But I'm going to go ahead and bomb it again. And I took out another three. So I must have took out like another squad right there. Alright, I'm going to help our team out by going out to this forest area. At a Oh wow, a lot of guys up in here. going to drop everything. Alright, it's cooking. Yeah, I took out three right there. Alright, going to go resupply. Going to head right back in there because it looks really, really rich up in that area. Um, hoping to get another, you know, three, maybe four, who knows. So, and look at these die breaks, man. They're so, they're awesome. Better than the Stukas. Oh, look at that. I actually wiped out a whole squad with four. Sweet. So right where we left off, all resupplied up. Going to try to take out this guy on AA gun. Alright, got the stationary, which is the AA. And two. We'll take it. Got the CAA. Alright, cool. Let's check that out. And looks like there's a little transport right here. Might as well take that out as well. Sweet. Yeah, nice thing about those fray bombs, you know, against jeeps and stuff like that. You can take it out real easily. So I realized that, you know, light machine guns could technically take out a jeep, but you don't want to use that. You want to actually use your um, dual 20mm cans. So that's what we're going to do. And look at that, you know, nice little strafe. Blew up two in the jeep. Really satisfying when you get the kill. Alright, it looks like our guys are trying to push up to get Bravo. Enemy team is trying to push up as well. Gonna hit this little building, gonna give proper air support. Alright, got two. Might be able to squeeze out three. Alright, cool, got three. Gotta get away from this AA gun. Alright, so I usually keep the chat disabled, but somebody in my squad was asking about the uh, YouTube channel. Gonna go ahead and bomb this. Gonna strafe these guys. Oh, gonna pull up. Oh wow, just actually ran over somebody right there. Wow, that was awesome. Alright, guys took Bravo back. Uh, I think they're pushing up. Yep, they're pushing up here on Alpha. Gonna bomb this little forest area and hopefully get some. Yep, 
Cool, got three, and our guys are going to be able to take that. Yep, sector taken. Sweet, let's move on to the final. Alright, so it looks like they have air support now. I'm going to go out to this Junkers 88. I'm going to use my uh, dual 20mm cans first, and then switch to my light. And just like that, got it. Got to get away from this flag uh, panzer now. Alright, so there's that other 88 from earlier. Going to take it out real quick. Alright, cool, it's down. Head back over. Okay, looks like they got an 88 all up in our resupply area. So I'm gonna hit it with the cannons and then the light machine guns. Okay, cool, got it. Alright, I'm gonna hit Baker, or in front of Baker, I should say. And as soon as I drop these, I'm just gonna get in and get out because they're gonna have flat panzers up and AA, and it's just gonna be a pretty hard time. So. Alright, cool, got three. Gonna head back to our resupply and head back. Alright, so I'm gonna hit this tank with everything I got because it looks like it's at critical. Even it takes off three to six. Might be enough. And it is enough. Gonna go back to resupply and head on back. Alright, I'm all resupplied up. Gonna see if that tank is critical. It looks like it is. I'm gonna drop everything. And sweet, end up getting it because it was that critical. So it's just something to remember. You just want to keep doing that if you can, and it does help out because you destroy it. All right, I'm gonna hit this area again because uh, there's always some people up in this area. I wonder if they have a spawn beacon or something over there. So I'm gonna hit it, and then uh, I'm gonna get out of here because I don't want to get hit by AA or Flak Panzer. All right, gonna head back over. Looks like there's some tanks here. I'm gonna go down and see if any of them are critically injured. They are. Dropping it. And cool, took out two in that tiger. So, you know, that's a good method to use if you feel like you're not doing much damage. Okay, so I'm going after both of these tanks at the same time. Hoping to get some collateral. Alright, there's one. Alright, I'm gonna go to the resupply. I should get a few more. Alright, it's this council kills, so that's two. Just gonna hold off a little bit while I resupply. Alright, three, four. Alright, cool. Four, I'll take it. Alright, I'm gonna try the same method as before. It does look like some infantry are pushing up on that tank, maybe to repair it or whatnot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it. And cool, took out three. So sometimes that's the method you wanna use. Because you got to keep in mind, you're not going to do a lot of damage with these type of bombs against armor. Not abandon this fight, soldier. All right, so I'm going to hit this AA gun from a different angle. I'm just going to drop it all right here because it's not even looking at me. And oh wow, look at that! Five kills right there. Sweet. Nice way to finish off the map. Hello, and thanks for watching today's episode. You're now at the specialization segment of today's episode, but before I go ahead and show you my specialization tree, I just thought I'd go ahead and show you my skin, which is the Air Racer skin for the P-51K Mustang. So let's take a look at that. All right, so pretty nice looking skin, you know, all blacked out. That looked pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at the specialization tree of mine. And I did start off with the top right, which is the 4X LMGs. You know, um, in reality, you can actually go probably with the 4X 20 millimeter cannons. Again, you know, it really depends on the situation. Um, you know, if you're the type of player in which you actually want to do the dogfights with, you know, BF-109, G6s, and so on, I'd actually recommend just sticking with the 4X LMGs like how, how I have it. Um, but if you're more of a person who just wants to take down bombers and so on, I could definitely see the 4X 20mm cannons being a lot more beneficial. But in reality... Um, if you just go with this, you're going to get the 2x 20mm cannon, 
20 millimeter cans as you can see right here and the next one is I went with the um, engine upgrade you know in my opinion you really want to go with this because um, you know it gives you a real good fighting chance to escape the AA guns um, as well as like flag panzers and so on because it just makes this plane really fast um, I have to say probably the fastest plane in the game uh, even without a supercharger so it's just really really nice with the engine upgrade um, you know a lot of people feel as though they should go with a high altitude package to compete with BF 109 G6 in reality you want to compete with the BF 109 G6 you still are um, and it's gonna be with the use of the die brakes which we'll get into that a little bit later all right and then on the third tier um, I went with the fin barrels I actually wanted to go with the flares because that would have been awesome to be able to drop flares to see of course where you know infantry is armor etc not only for myself but of course for my teammates um, the only problem with that is if you go with the flares you lose the emergency repair it will replace emergency repair and you're just going to get mowed down by that um, stack A, flag panzers and so on um, you really really need to make sure that you have the emergency repair so in reality the only option you have is the fin barrels some people might say oh no you can still go with this you know I'm an amazing pilot blah 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 <laughs> I mean okay <laughs> if you say so but in reality is you're probably gonna die I'd rather be the type of person in which I get the kills I survive to fight another day compared to just you know having bragging rights of you know uh, having the flares and so on so yeah we get it everybody wants the flares but you can't have your cake and eat it too alright so the fourth tier is the 2x incendiary bombs some people call this World War II napalm you know I'm cool with that um, and you would definitely want to go with that instead of going with the improved resupply um, because the next tier is the 4x parafrag bombs and these two just really go well with each other um, as I mentioned in the video you know if you're going up against like AA and AA sees you uh, you only want to drop the incinerary bombs you do not want to go with dropping these completely after the paraphrase bombs because what's going to happen is just like I mentioned in the video earlier on some of those clips um, if you drop the paraphrase bombs the AA's flak will hit the paraphrase bomb it will blow you up the guy won't get the credit for getting the kill and it will just say that you had an accident it's incredibly annoying and don't feel bad it's going to happen to you more times than you know you can count but that is the reality of it if you have the AA gun shooting out at you with all that flak you just got to commit to just using the incendiary bombs um, and then once you finish out the AA go back and then you know drop the rest of your uh, paraphrase bombs um, another thing that's nice about the P-51K is it's the only plane in the game that can carry um, a pretty decent amount of bombs if you think about it like you know, you got 2x incendiary bombs plus the 4x uh, paraphrase bombs, a total of six bombs. I mean, um, yeah, you're not, you know, carrying, uh, you know, 250 pound bombs or 500 pounders or, and so on to knock out heavy armor, right? Tanks and so on. But as far as going up against infantry, I mean, it's tremendous. I mean, six bombs total. Um, that kind of ranks up there with like a you know like a light bomber for instance so it's a really really cool uh, combo to have with these two um, I do not recommend going with the spawn beacon you know you want to have fun for crying out loud you want to be devastating this is yeah this is the that you want to go with and then on the final tier of the specialization tree by all means go with the die breaks this is what makes this plane special um, like it says here, increased pitch rate when pulling out of a dive. These are the best dive breaks in the game. Um, they're better than the Stukas. It's not the Stukas, not even a close second. I mean, yeah, Stuka has great dive breaks, but the P51K has the very best dive breaks in the entire game. Um, 
so much so that I mean, you know, you can go up against the BF109 G6, you can win dogfights. Like I said, you're gonna win every dogfight because you know some really, really good 109 G6 pilots. But it gives you a fighting chance, and on top of that, um, don't follow the guy, you know, to the top of the world, if you will, um, with his high altitude package because you don't have it. Yeah, you, you don't have it selected, but the engine upgrade is way better than going with the high altitude package. This dive break gives you a fighting chance because, to a sense, it's kind of like how the Zero is going up against the uh, Corsair in the Pacific Theater. And what I mean by that is, um, you can stop on a dime. I mean, you can you could pretty much um, slam on your brakes, and the BF109 G6 ends up, you know. Uh, flying past you so now he's no longer on your six you're now on his six and you can just take him out remember as soon as he becomes on I'm sorry as soon as uh, he's ahead of you and you're on his six um, do the back and forth thing uh, I would actually re recommend doing the 2x uh, 20 millimeter can millimeter cans first to weaken his um, his wings if you can and then switching back to these, and as soon as these overheat, go back and forth, back and forth until you uh, uh, shoot them down. You're going to find out that slamming on these die brakes when you're in a turn in a dogfight with the 109 is really, really going to help you. Um, it's tremendous. So, yes, by all means, go with the die brakes. It's not even, it shouldn't even be a consideration to go with the <laughs> radar package. Even if you're an, um, a completely new pilot, uh, you just don't really want to go with the, this at all. You know, go with the die brakes by all means. So there's my specialization um, uh, specialization tree. Um, another thing I just like to throw out there is you know the channel is doing really well. Can't thank you guys enough. In regards to that, um, I think we're going to hit 7,000 subs here shortly. Um, channel still continuing to grow and another thing I like to throw out there is you know be on the lookout for um, the Greyhound volume 2 video and I get it you know uh, this particular video about video is all about flying and so on you might say to yourself well I don't you know I don't use tanks uh, I don't want to bother with it trust me you want to look at the uh, that Greyhound video because in reality here's the deal to the exception of Twisted Steel, right? On Twisted Steel, you start off Sector 1, you get air support um, on the Allied side, of course, to fight the P-51K um, or whatever uh, variation you want to pick. Um, so on the first sector, you get it. Second sector, you get it. Um, if you're still up in the air and the enemy has taken over the second sector and now it's the third, well, you lose your air support. So make sure you don't get shot down and so on. But if the enemy team... Uh, if you shoot down their remaining planes, then they don't get any more air support. So you can literally be like the only guy in the, in the sky, and you just got to watch out for AA and Flag Panzers, Fliegerfaust, and so on. But nonetheless, if you play it smart, you should be able to, you know, finish the whole map on Twisted Steel to the final sector. So my point is this. Um, forget Twisted Steel. Uh, Alice and Dan, right? The biggest complaint about that is if you're on the Allied side, that first sector is so incredibly hard. So, if you can, if you luck out, I should say, before uh, the map officially starts, you know, keep hovering your mouse over that uh, gear symbol. Uh, the gear symbol, of course, is for, you know, armor, tank, whatever. So, just keep clicking that. Hopefully, you have it ready set for the, uh, the Greyhound. And, of course, I'll show you the specialization tree I have for that. But, anyway, you, you don't want to go with a Sherman. It's too slow. You want to go with a uh, Greyhound, and you want to, you know, treat it like kind of like it's like football to a sense. You're the, uh, you're the running back. You know, what I mean, it's just like you want to plow through that defense, and um, you know, you want to get to the end zone, which is what, you know, flag A. Because the reality is, if you don't do this, um, what's the most frustrating thing about that map? You have too many people. On your team, right? 32 players. If you're doing 64, you know, total. So you 32 players on your team, and you feel like you and maybe like your squad, or maybe you and just only a few people on the whole team, 
are making any effort at all to get A, and it's just incredibly frustrating because you got all these snipers on your team, and you can't get that objective, right? You want to be able to fly, right? That's the whole p purpose of like looking at this video. You want to be able to fly PT1K. Okay. You're not going to be able to do that unless you get that first sector. So you want to get a Greyhound, you want to do the engine upgrade and so on, and you want to plow through all that defenses, kill as many of those guys as you can, you want to keep moving. Anyway, my point is my video shows that, and then that way you can get that first sector and then, you know, redeploy if you want, like I did, and then you get your P-51K before everybody else has a chance to get it because you only get one plan. And then on that second sector, you'll have air support for Alice and Dan. Third sector, you have air support for Alice and Dan. And of course, the final sector, the fourth and final sector, you get air support. Same concept for Panzerstorm. You, uh, my video will show you how to get that first sector. I got a really nice flank maneuver for you on how to accomplish that. That way you get that first sector. And as soon as you get it, redeploy. Um, that one allows up to two planes instead of one, unlike Alice and Dan. And then you'll be able to uh, enjoy the P-51K on the uh, second and third final sectors. So, again, I know this video was about, of course, P-51K. But, you know, a lot of times I like to show you guys what's upcoming. Be on the lookout for that. Even though you're not like a tank person, hey, I get it. But in reality is, it's going to be very frustrating if you don't do certain strategies to ensure yourself to be able to live on and fight in those other sectors for you can get the air support is what I'm trying to say. So anyway, that's it for today's episode. Uh, can't thank you guys enough um, for supporting the channel. And, um, you know, I'm trying to get over this cellulitis thing. I'm almost completely over it. And, you know, I'm getting really dehydrated, this heat wave and so on. But, you know, bottom line is I got to take care of better care of my skin, which I am. So, you know, Put on your moisturizers, lotion up and all that stuff. Take better care of your skin. I know I am. I never want to get this again. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't even elevate my leg long enough to really be comfortable to game it up. So that's why there's been so much of a delay between, uh, was it the episode of the P-70 lighter bomb loadout and this one. So, again, the P-70, can't thank you guys enough in regards to that. Big hit, 120,000 views. Hoping to have another big hit with this, but if I don't, it's okay. I'm just thankful for what I can get. And, uh, yeah, I know this is a long episode, but it was a long-awaited one. And for the true fans, I'm sure you guys enjoyed it. So, all right, that's it. Uh, thanks again for watching today's episode. And with that said, we will see you on the next one.